hey what's up Habibi here in this video I'm going to make a tutorial about how to add an airplane engine sound to this airplane object previously I've made a tutorial on my youtube channel this one about how to add engine sound to a car with respect to its speed in unity but unfortunately many people found this video is too confusing and they dislike the video and that is the reason I'm going to redo the tutorial I'm going to make the clearer tutorial about how to add an engine sound that will be played according to the speed of the engine so we are going to play with the pitch of the audio in unity I'm going to start with an empty folder here I will create an empty folder I call it engine sound and let me open it here on my desktop inside this folder I have this propeller engine audio you can hear it so this audio file I will use it for my airplane I will uh, import it to unity this way and now I'm going to make a script before I apply the script to this uh, airplane I'm going to create an empty scene for demonstration to demonstrate how this script will work so I will create a new scene test scene audio test scene here I'm going to create an empty game object let's say this is the player object or the car or the airplane or anything let's name it player to play an audio file you will need an audio audio source uh, component so we, you will need to add audio source after adding the audio source you will need a script that then you will attach the script here so I'm going to create a script I call it engine sound click this uh, player object to activate it to make it active and then attach the script here at the bottom you can also just drag and drop it here okay I have this script attached let me edit the script here is my empty script file what we are going to do here first let me do everything step by step here we need the audio source audio source component and audio source audios and here on the start we initialize the audio source variable we assign the value to audio source this way audio source equals to get component audio source what this line of code does is it will assign the existing audio source component here this one to this variable and because we are going to play around with the pitch of the audio file we need something that limit the minimum and maximum pitch of the sound so here we are going to create a public variable public float variable this one I I, I will make the minimum pitch let's say the minimum pitch equals to 0 0.05 float 
and obviously we will need the maximum pitch maximum pitch let's say the maximum pitch will be 2 F we can play around with these numbers don't worry why I set this number let's just use these numbers and here on the start after assigning the this audio source component to this variable we will set the audio pitch of the audio source we will set the value minimum pitch value to the pitch of this audio source so audio source dot pitch equals to minimum pitch so by default our um, audio pitch should be this minimum pitch which is 0.05 f and then oh yeah uh, here in the player we need the audio clip to be assigned here so I will drag and drop the audio clip file here and for now let's just hit the play button here and let's hear the sound okay so I need to play around with the minimum pitch let's say the minimum pitch will be 1 and let's play it okay I can hear it so what if we reduce the minimum pitch for example 0 0.5 enter and hit the play button again okay so, so let's say our minimum pitch should be 0 0.5 it will work I delete the 0 here the minimum pitch right now is 0 0.5 by default and the maximum pitch is 2 based on what we did here to control the pitch of the uh, of an audio you can play around with this value if you want to uh, increase the speed increase the, sp the pitch of the audio you can set it to 2 the higher number if you play the game you will hear the audio the, the pitch is very high and it means the engine is very fast working fast and the next thing that we need to do is to figure out how to uh, integrate the script to the to any object that is moving on our scene for example a car or an airplane let's say we have uh, engine speed here let's say we have a public float engine speed variable here and we set the value of engine speed to 1 1 F then here on the update we modify the value of audio source dot pitch according to the engine speed what will happen is if you play the game because we are applying the engine speed to the audio source dot pitch on update if we change the speed of the engine we will see the change of audio pitch and I forgot to set audio to be loop I need to check this checkbox let's increase the value of engine speed for example 0 0.7 uh, or 5 or 8 or maybe you can increase it to 1.4 or 1.8 or 2 you can also set it to 10
it doesn't sound good so so far by this experiment we know already how to play around with the pitch of the audio in unity and let's try to apply this minimum pitch and maximum pitch value to this engine speed here we are going to do an if statement if the engine speed is less than minimum pitch we set the audio source dot pitch value to the minimum minimum pitch else if the engine speed is more than maximum pitch we will use the maximum pitch and else if the engine speed is between minimum pitch and maximum pitch we will use the engine speed itself here let me set the minimum pitch to 0 0.5 again 0 0.5 and the maximum pitch let's say 2.5 by doing this we will be able to play around with the engine speed and also limiting the speed and the speech between minimum pitch and maximum pitch so if I lower the engine speed if it is lower than minimum pitch the engine speed will be this one the minimum pitch if it is higher then the engine speed is limited to this maximum pitch I'm sure you understand what I did here so we are done with this script and the next thing that we are going to do is to integrate this script with the game object that we have in our game here I have an airplane it is here and I have a UI slider element which is let me show you it is here the slider I use this slider to control the speed of the airplane let me play it and show it to you this is my airplane and I have this slider to control its speed I can slide it up and the airplane will start to move and fly so what I will do is to integrate that engine script to this slider so what I need to do is to copy the to copy this object let me rename it to engine audio let me copy this object and paste it inside my airplane I paste it here and then and here we need to access the UI slider public slider uh, airplane slider and let's use the UI here using unity engine dot UI and we need to assign the U slider UI here to the to this engine audio script engine audio and my slider is here and here for the engine speed instead of making it public I will keep it private I will make it private like this and I will set the value of engine speed here on update engine speed equals to airplane slider and please note that airplane slider value the value of this slider 
this slider is only limited between 0 and 1 so what we can do is airplane slider should be multiplied by for example let me set it to 3 airplane slider multiplied by 3 and if I test my game click the play button I got an error here okay here I here I need to add dot value the error is gone let me play the game and let me try to increase the slider and I can decrease the slider to decrease the pitch of the audio of course you can play around with the with the values of this engine audio object here you can set the minimum minimum pitch to uh, one and the maximum pitch to three for example Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it and thank you for watching. See you next time on my next tutorials. Bye bye.